Now we're uh, going to talk further um, based on this book that most people would never have access to. Uh, kindly, this was reproduced after an interview I did on Corporation Nation with Clint Richardson. And so if you go onto his site, you will find uh, basically a copy of Corporate Suretyship uh, by G.W. Christ. Very interesting who that writer, that ghostwriter is. But uh, the, uh, the book has, as I would consider, for the legal industry, it's like the Bible of legal. And of course, uh, the book kind of disappeared out of production. Uh, was in a few law universities, and someone kindly uh, PDF the whole book. So at least if you you know can't obtain the book, the odds of finding one even on the internet availability uh, uh, book list is next to almost zero. It appears this book has been removed. We'll leave it at that. That's just you know my belief from what I've seen. Um, it has even been seized coming over borders. Uh, from the United States where it was found coming into Canada uh, and then never retrieved. So anyways, uh, the uh, book quote that we're going to go at right now is on page six of Corporate Suretyship. It's dealing with insurance and suretyship. Now, if we know uh, properly through reading of the Bible, uh, being involved as a surety is something we should hate. Proverbs 11, 15 uh, states that he is, that is surety for a stranger, which means another, which means something in addition to who they are, will surely smart for it. And because surnames are involved with additions in naming, uh, that should give you a clue. Uh, he that hateth suretyship is sure. So uh, when we go into corporate suretyship, surprisingly a book um, that starts off with its introductory pages, um, actually quoting out of the Bible, numerous uh, quotes, Proverbs 6, 1 and 2, Proverbs 11, 15, Proverbs 17, verse 18, Proverbs 20, verse 16, uh, then Ecclesiastes, a wisdom of Sarah 29, verse 18, and Proverbs 22, verse 26. Um, but when you move on to page 7, interesting, the number 7, uh, you move into this page, under sure, insurance and suretyship, it states the following. At the outset, it is important to understand the difference between insurance and suretyship. They are as hard to compare as a poem and a pearl. Yet most people who will confess to having heard only vaguely of the surety business harbor the impression that it has something to do with insurance. That confusion may be explained on several counts. The first corporate surety enterprise, that's the SS enterprise, the social security enterprise, appeared on the American scene as a strange and singularly unattractive child without benefit of acknowledged parents and with no family ties of its own. Well, that would probably lead to the birth certificate because you were never born legal. That is something that you've assumed. Perhaps as an act of kindness or because no one knew what to do with it, it was finally adopted by the insurance fraternity and its activities subsequently governed by the insurance uh, sections of the statutes of various states. Welcome to Vital Statistics Acts. Um, so it's a very interesting, you know, write up what it has here. But it says the basic theory of corporate suretyship, however, presumes that the underwriters take no risk whatsoever. Whatever and that the premiums they receive are merely service fees for the lending of their credit. You know, if you're not beginning to smell rat in this, then you're not really looking at it, and you're certainly not looking at God's wisdom that was given and placed in the Bible. Billions of copies, probably close to 3 billion, at least distributed, uh, 
and how many people read it. And in fact, the majority who think they're intellectuals believe that the Bible is only for fools. No, the Bible warns against the thieves, warns against liars, lawyers, and their scam and scheme.